Hi again. Here we are to talk about JavaScript. And uh, in the last two videos, I introduced the idea of the module pattern. And what I'd like to do in the next couple videos is convert our shopping cart JS into a module. <clears throat> so, so here we are, and I've got this little block of code here that just tested kind of a, a sample module. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to um, just wrap that in a comment because this was just for testing here. We're not really going to use that, right? But we're going to take this idea and, and apply it to our, um, our shopping cart, okay? So let's go to uh, shopping cart JS, right? And here we are. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to look at this and then kind of take a quick tour to take stock of what we have and point out some of the things that we're going to need to change, right? So first of all, we've got this shopping cart variable, and this is going to be our module, okay? And then it will have a variable in there called cart. So inside the shopping cart, you know, we're just going to use the name cart to keep track of this array, and we won't need to put shopping cart dot in front of the name, okay? Also, item will be a feature of the shopping cart, so it'll be a class that's created inside, and this item variable doesn't need to be exposed either, so, you know, we'll have to use this, but we're going to remove dot shopping cart from the front of the name, okay? The item is an object, and we're going to create, or a class, it's sort of a a, a, an object definition, right? And so, you know, all the features of item are properties of item, so it's going to retain the this dot in front of each of these property names. So the, this is going to stay here, okay, in front of item, okay? So let's talk about add item. So add item to cart is going to be part of our public API, right? So application programming interface, right, API. That's like, these are the names and methods and properties that, you know, you can use in your code to access the features of Shopping Cart, right? This is going to be a public one, right? So we're going to make this part of the object that, that our module returns, right? And so it'll be attached to the Shopping Cart, okay? So, um, so we're going to return this as an object. And remember, Cart does not belong to shopping cart anymore so we're going to have to remove this in front of the name so everywhere it says this dot cart we're going to remove the this dot in front of it okay so so anyway that gives you an idea and the rest of this will be more of the same right we'll have to remove this in front of item and this in front of this and save cart right um the one thing i'm kind of debating about is maybe save cart and load cart those two methods maybe they shouldn't be public you know, maybe we don't want people to call on save cart. Maybe, you know, the cart should just save itself whenever you add and remove items from it. But, you know, well, maybe we'll make those private methods for now, and we could make them public later. But uh, but anyway, so so that's kind of what we're going to do. So so let's get started. So, uh, you know, it might take a couple videos just to keep these down to 10 minutes, right? But uh, we'll just get as much done as we can right now. Um so anyway, so we've got this var named shopping cart, and then it's got an object here. So since we're going to do a closure, what we want to do is we want to um, create a function here and follow it with the curly bra braces, right? And we want this function to be self-executing so that as soon as you load this shopping cart JS file, it automatically runs this code here and you know returns the shopping cart object to uh, to this variable right so what we do is we wrap the function in the parentheses and then follow it with the parentheses like this okay so now everything that's part of our module will go inside of you know the code block here for this function okay and then our function wants to return an object, and you, we could name this, this could be any name you want. Um, I just used object in the last example, so I'm going to use it here again, right? Okay, so where does this object come from and where does it get its value? So, well, let's define it here like this. And uh, essentially, let's divide our code into two areas, right? So this will be our private, you know, um, methods and properties and then this will be our public methods and properties okay 
So everything that's attached to object will be public, and then anything we define here will be private. Okay, so the first thing that we want to keep private is the shopping cart array. So I'm going to cut that from down here, paste it up here, and I'm going to get rid of the cart or the shopping cart, you know, object name in front of it, and then we'll just put var in front of it. So anything declared var inside of this function will be private. Okay, so item is also going to be a private element. So let's put that up here too. And uh, we'll have to reconfigure this a little bit. Um, I'm going to define it this way as, uh, you know, function item name price count and then this dot name price and count. And then I'll format my code so it looks good. You know, I installed this, um, a plugin or extension for brackets called Beautify. I would recommend you all do that because it will auto format your code make things look nice so um, you know anytime you want you can just choose beautify and it goes through and tabs everything up so uh, so anyway so there we go we've got the cart here it's private we got the item it's private and then what do we have well then we've got this add item to cart method and this is a, a public method okay so what we want to do is we want to put this down here in our public space and it won't be attached to shopping cart in our case. It's going to be attached to this variable called object. So I'm going to put that name here in place of shopping cart. Okay. And then we'll read through this one line at a time and, and take a close look at everything. Well, on this line, we've got this cart here, but cart is no longer attached to object. Remember, cart is up here as just a regular variable inside this this function so we'll remove this in front of cart oh and we'll have to do it on this line and this line and that line right and then when we get down here you can see that um, we've got item and it says this dot item but this is you know this item is no longer a part of object it's defined up here so we can just use the name like that we don't have to have this in front of it and then there's this dot cart and this dot save now remember I said save cart we're probably gonna make that private so when we define that it's gonna be defined up here in the private area just the same way item is and so we'll be able to call on it just by saying save cart so we're gonna remove this in front of the name okay and then maybe I'll hit the button here to beautify or you can tab up your code yourself actually hey wait a minute didn't work for me that time. Uh, why don't I just do it by hand here manually? And uh, uh, there we go, right? Yeah, you can use the uh, command left and right bracket to move a block of code to tab everything left or right, okay? And you can find that on the menu here under edit, um, indent and unindent, right? In brackets. So anyway, so I'm gonna stop here, right? and why don't you go ahead and try and finish up the rest of this this cart thing right and then i'll go through and i'll do the rest later and um, in another video and uh, you know you can compare your work to mine and you can try it on your own and then you know maybe you'll get more out of it that way and uh, you know if you have any problems then you can follow the video the future video um, and anyway thanks for watching and i hope that that is informative and helpful to people okay